An Ohio Wesleyan University student being remembered tonight after he and his dad drowned while kayaking. Tonight, family and friends gathered for a celebration of life service on campus. Isabel Hansen joining us live now. Isabel, how did they honor him? Stacia and Bob, those close to Charlie, sang for him, shared stories, and grieved together. They describe him as someone everyone wanted to be around. I've only known Charlie for a fraction of my life, but knowing him has changed the rest of it. Charlie Morris ran the race of life for others. He was dependable. If it was late at night and I needed someone to sit with me while I ate in the dining hall, Charlie would until I cleared my plate. If I was having the worst day of my life, I could call Charlie and he would stay with me for however long I needed. A true friend, an athlete at Ohio Wesleyan University, a violinist, a tutor. The 20 year old left a mark on so many. Charlie always came with a positive mindset and his passion and energy was contagious. When working with his fourth and fifth grade students, he always had a smile on his face and he truly was loved by each of them. Charlie and his dad disappeared while kayaking in Arkansas during spring break. On Sunday, police announced they found their bodies after 24 days of searching. The news over spring break filled me with shock and grief. I'm comforted by the fact that a pain this deep can only come from a bond that strong. I say to folks sometimes, grief is the, the price we pay for love. And I think that's important. Like, and we want to pay that price, right? Like, it's the way we honor people we care about. Chad Johns, Ohio Wesleyan's chaplain, says Charlie's family wanted this service to be a celebration of his life, not a sad time. When grief strikes, when loss happens, it's the death and the loss that really stands out in our minds. But over time, what stays with us is the good memories, right? Like it's the, the laughter, it's the joy, it's the love we have for people. Um, on his goal card this year, um, in red ink, Charlie wrote one minute, 55 seconds for the 800 meters. Uh, that was a time that Coach Boyne, I believed um, that he could and would run this spring. So they marked that goal for him. I'm going to ask that all of you will stand and, and cheer him on towards the finish line. No doubt he ran the race, the race of life, well. We're at one minute and 40 seconds. If I'd ask that you'd stand. <clears throat> and cheer for him <laughs> the last 10 seconds here. A tragic reminder, time is so precious. One of Charlie's teammates says he will think of Charlie and take him with him every time he runs. Live on your side, I'm Isabel Hansen, Fox 28 News.